Hey, I'm going to be reacting to Saint Seiya episode 41 straight out of Netflix's website. And just a heads up, I'm going to start this reaction from the 2 minute and 15 second mark in 1, 0, go. Alright, let's see. Battle for Sanctuary. Athena faces grave danger. Okay. This one definitely looks like it's going to be one of those loaded episodes. Loaded full of epicness. Hmm. I mean, I, I hope that... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. The only thing is, though, um... He don't have his cloth on right now. He hasn't even had a chance to put it on yet. Oh! Nah, the, the, the whole, oh, no one can change your fate. Those two sounds like freaking quitters. Jeez. No, 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 no. He has to scratch that type of shit out of his mind. Wait, is that the voice of his man? Oh, Wiki! Hmm. I don't think he does. Oh. I mean, I'm, I meant to say, I don't think Shun curses it, but Wiki, I could imagine him doing that. And plus, one of his loved ones died there, too. I guess fate is pretty complicated. The only ray of hope in there. Aww. Actually, nice to get to see him have a heart to heart like that. Yes! I love that mindset. Never let yourself get down by the circumstances, but always do your best to try to work with what's give, with what the cards of fate have given you. That's really the only thing you can do as a human being. And that could apply to everyone. Yes! And I love the visual cue too of him being wrapped up by chains. It makes that those lines from Iki much more powerful. Not just from a sound, but from a physical and visual standpoint. Oh yes! Angry Sean! Oh yeah! Yes! Wait, is it me or is his muscles getting bigger? <laughs> like Dragon Ball Z style. Yo! That's awesome. And without the cloth. Yes! And all, <laughs> but they should be worried about the chick that's in his arms, all knocked the fuck out and shit. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay. I thought for a second it could have been serious because you never know. <clears throat> Even though she has no home to come back to, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she'll find something new to live for. I'm pretty sure she'll. At the very least, I want to see Shun again after he 
comes back from his dangerous journey. All right. Yes! I'm with him. Hmm. Maybe he might have killed the original Pope. Oh, okay, that's also an impossibility. Wait, then, then, yeah, like, what's with the mind, change of mindset, if that's the case? Yeah, I mean, this guy seems pretty sweet. It's kind of hard to believe that. That's the same hardcore evil asshole that Pope Aries currently is. Oh. So. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that how she was able to pick up on those little details like that. Showing you again the book smarts of Saori coming pretty handy. All stuff like that. And it wouldn't be outside of the realm of possibility. We did see a gold cosmos around him too when he was confirmed in Aeolius in one of the previous, in a few episodes ago in a flashback. Yeah. Oh, sort of like a Jackal Knight situation then. I mean, I don't, I don't really have any... Oh, fuck. Hope he I hope he doesn't do anything too wild. They think they can fuck with the gold saint. <laughs> oh, that's cute. This is like trying to see first graders fuck with the fifth grader. It ain't happening. I mean, that is brave, but he really should have just joined Seiya's crew because he's outnumbered. Don't get me wrong, this is badass. I like how he's laying everything on the table. The dirty laundry, but... 
The thing is, though, any potential effect that Ilulio could have had is going to be freaking gone. Because, yeah, I know Pope Eddie's is there, but, I mean, it's foreshadowing that he's a gold saint, potentially. Then on top of that, there could be other golden saints, too, around Sanctuary that he can call upon for as backup. But then I know he's emotionally riled up, wants to confront the man that killed his bro. Anyone, a lot of people would want to confront a person like that. Okay. Looks like he finally let go of the charade. Pope Aries. I mean, I hope Romanoolia wins, but Pope Aries looks like he has a fuckload of Cosmos. In that case, that sack is... Looks like Seori's theory was right. I mean, I hope Olio wins and all, but the odds are not in his favor. I've seen him way too many anime when a character tries to confront the main villain after being lied to, it usually doesn't go well for the character that was lied to. Oh, he's actually gonna win? Yes! Looks like he might win the beam struggle. Conversation though? Oh, wait, then again, he probably just doesn't give a shit, even if he does know the truth. He should leave. He's, it's two to one. He's outnumbered. No, no, no. What, what the hell? Thousand years. Oh, shit. This is reckless as fuck. Fucking right. Oh, but then again, I can't blame him though. A lot of people sometimes make dumb decisions going on our emotions. And right now, Ilya, he's not thinking with his brains. He's thinking with this. With his fist. Which, don't get me wrong, being a macho man is cool and all, but not in every fucking situation. But it's unavoidable, though. I hope Olya wins, though. That's a good question. Okay, if that's the case, I'll be a better whip something out immediately.
All right, good, 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 good. Yes! I still have faith in Eolia. Oh! Dang! Oh! Wow! Okay. That was epic there. Hmm. Oh yeah, that shit was like the moment I saw that Cassius fight, the series won me over. In both versions, the Netflix's CG series and also this series, they both won me over. Hopefully it's backup. Or someone useful, hopefully for... Whoa, what? Okay, that's gutsy. <laughs> Seen you. Maybe seen you. Yes! Now that's how you make an entrance. <laughs> I love it. Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't matter if she knew with us, she knew without, he's still a lovable man. <laughs> Definitely a tip of line either Yoga or Iki would be using. Damn, that's long. It's a shame there's no fucking elevator. What the hell? <sighs> and how are they gonna do that? I mean, don't get me wrong, maybe they can beat him individually, but it's... It's like four of them versus twelve. Well, I, should, I know it's not 12 technically, but it's still 4 versus a lot. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9. Okay. Probably gonna take fucking days to do that. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, okay, if it's like five of them against each golden state, then they have a shot, as long as it's not individual battles. Oh, this guy is cute. He thinks he can fuck with our, with our men like that. Uh-uh. He got fucked up arachnid style. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, well, that means the real ever was sent towards Saudi then.
Shit, shit, shit. Dang. Oh my. I was gonna give this episode a, a 9 out of 10. Fuck it, it goes up to a 10. Yo, that shit was crazy. Dang, just dang. This actually, wow. Wow. Okay, this episode, it fired off on all cylinders. Now, from an animation standpoint, was it the prettiest looking Saint Seiya episode ever? No, it wasn't, but it didn't look bad. It got the job done animation-wise. Artwork, I thought it looked good. It looked pretty consistent. And there was, at the very least, the noteworthy power struggle beam between Shaka and Aolia looked good. So I'm going to give it credit for that. It actually looked pretty nice there from an animation and art standpoint. And then Pope Eddie's was drawn all menacing-like. So it was pretty good and from the art standpoint. Now... For story-related beats, I like this. I like how I was showing you how Ilya, he isn't a perfect individual because at this moment, he had the shot of potentially escaping and potentially teaming up with our Bronze Saints heroes, but instead he wanted to confront Pope Eddie's run off the get-go. So I do like that. It makes it feel realistic because a lot of people, you find out someone like killed a family member and in most moments, you want to, like, do something to that. I would imagine if uh, most people were in that spot, they'd want to do something to, like, the person that, that did that kind of shit. So I like that. How it showed you one of his flaws. Because if he would have just went with our heroes, Ilya might have had a higher shot at helping them increase their success rate. In doing this... At best, he might just um, maybe wound a gold and that's about it. So I like that element from this episode. Then aside from that, I also enjoy how in this episode you get to see some nice camaraderie between CDU and the other Ron Saints before they're confronted by this scrub that we see near the end that harmed our story, that motherfucker. So I like that too. And from a story standpoint, this episode was engaging because come on now. To see, like, Saori stabbed by a freaking arrow, that shit was fucking intense. I was like, dang. That's how you know shit got real. It got... So, I like that, too, from a story standpoint. Because we made plot progression. They're not going to have to hit up all the locations where the... Where the gold scenes are at, and they're finally at the sanctuary. So, we made a lot of plot progression there. And they ended off on a cliffhanger, so now it's going to be a mystery to see what's going to happen to Saori. I hope she's fine. And as for other things, the music was great as always, and that's why I thought this episode was 10 out of 10 worthy. Now, in case y'all wondering, at this point, I have caught up with the episodes that lined up with uh, Netflix's CG Saint Seiya series, and after watching this, yeah. I'm gonna be reacting to the rest of. I'm gonna be reacting to episode 42 and beyond when it comes to Saint Seiya. For sure. Because I wanna see what happens next. I don't wanna wait years, potentially forever, to be like, oh, when's the Netflix Saint Seiya coming out? The CG remake? Because. I mean, at least let me check real quick if it's even confirmed yet that the CG series got a, a season 3. But regardless, I'm still gonna watch the original. The, the next few episodes, because I want to see what happens after that cliffhanger with uh, Arrow going towards Saudi. That shit was way too freaking epic of a cliffhanger for me not to be extremely curious. I'm going to just check real quick on Google now that I'm caught up if there's anything. Um, no. Doesn't seem like the CG series... Got a season three confirmation, at least going off of Netflix. Yeah. 
I mean, I guess it was bound to happen. Because I remember when the Netflix CG Season 1 came out, Season 2, like, got confirmed, like, instantly. Like, there was already information on, Span on like, Twitter and, like, Spanish that it was confirmed that Saint Seiya was going to get another well, Season 2. But for Season 3, it looks like there's been a no announcement, so... Regardless, even if Season 3 from Netflix, the CG series got confirmed, I'm still going to watch some more original Saint Seiya episodes. So, there is that. Now, as for other things, now that you know, now that y'all know, know that I'm going to watch more of the original series, i just like y'all to just um, be sure to share the video and share it. Please share the video because I will now start reacting to original episodes. So from this point on, everything is going to be a surprise and I cannot wait. And as for that, be sure to rate the video, comment, subscribe. And of course, if the Saint Seiya CG series does get a season 3, I will be checking that out for sure. Just letting you all know. Although this time though, if, I do, if it does a season 3, I'll now be comparing it to the original series instead of the reverse. But y'all, anyways y'all, thank you so much for watching my video. Have a great and safe day, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Because I'm definitely going to try to react to this tomorrow. 99.999% nah, 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 sure. Anyways y'all, have a great and safe day. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, bye bye.